Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. It is November 11, 2019. I would like to thank all of our veterans for all you do or have done. Freedom isn't free, and some gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom and will never be forgotten. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. First Article of Interest Statement from the Press Secretary The White House Office of the Press Secretary for Immediate Release November 10, 2019 The United States is seriously concerned by continued attacks against protesters, civic activists, and the media, as well as restrictions on Internet access, in Iraq. Iraqis won't stand by as the Iranian regime drains their resources and uses armed groups and political allies to stop them from peacefully expressing their views. Despite being targeted with lethal violence and denied access to the Internet, the Iraqi people have made their voices heard, calling for elections and election reforms. The United States joins the UN assistance mission to Iraq in calling on the Iraqi government to halt the violence against protesters and fulfill President Slay's promise to pass electoral reform and holderly elections. We also call on the rest of the international community to join us in supporting a better future for the Iraqi people. Next article of interest, Mr. Amar al-Hakim Habausi. We must carry out wide reforms and the consolidation of state institutions. 2019 to 11th November 1119 Baghdad, the head of the opposition National Wisdom Bloc, Mr. Amar al Hakim, stressed the need for wide ranging reforms at the service level and the consolidation of state institutions. This came during a meeting with Mr. Amar al Hakim, on Monday, to the Speaker of the House of Representatives Mohammed al Halabsi. A statement of his office, received, Euphrates News, a copy, that, during the meeting discussed developments in the political situation and the demands of the demonstrators and the required role of the House of Representatives. He stressed the role of the House of Representatives in the legislation and approval of laws that contribute to the achievement of comprehensive reform in the country and in respond to the demands of the demonstrators stressing the importance of peaceful demonstration and the preservation of public and private property in cooperation with the security services. He pointed out the need to carry out wide-ranging reforms at the service level and to encourage state institutions and eliminate corruption through integration and the work between the legislative and executive authorities in order to provide a decent life for our people. Next article of interest. Presidency of the Republic completes the election law this number of deputies in the coming sessions. 2019 to 11th November 1109 Baghdad. The Presidency of the Republic, on Monday, the new election law. The Presidency, with the help of a team of Iraqi experts and representatives of the United Nations, has completed the new electoral law, under which the Commission will be reconstituted from the judiciary and experts away from partisan quotas, a presidential source said. The law also includes a 30% reduction in the number of deputies and a 25-year age limit. He pointed to the adoption of the loudest voice in the electoral districts, noting that the Prime Minister also has a draft electoral law, has been submitted draft prepared by the Presidency to the government because of the financial obligations. He pointed to the existence of consultations to unify the vision on the law in preparation for submission to the House of Representatives. Next article of interest. Parliament to host blast card in the next session. 2019 to 11th November 1848, Baghdad, Euphrates News. The Council of Representatives lifted its session until next Wednesday, announcing that it will host the UN envoy Jenin Blachart. According to the Chamber of Information of the House of Representatives, the Council has finished reading and discussing the proposal of the Law of the Second Amendment to the Law on Compensation for those affected by military operations and military errors and terrorist operations number 20 for 2009.
the Speaker of the House of Representatives Mohammed Haubau see that, the aim of the law to compensate those affected by the military operations is to overcome obstacles to the return of citizens to their homes and compensate them for the damage caused to them. The issue of dealing with judges' decisions must be resolved and overturned by the staff of the compensation committees, he said. And ended the House of Representatives report and discussion of the proposed law of the Second Amendment to the law of provincial and district council elections. No. The council lifted its session until next Wednesday at 1 p.m., noting that. Next article of interest. Sistani, if the authorities are not able to fulfill. The demands of the demonstrators must be another way. 11th November, 2019 Baghdad The representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations in Iraq, Janine hens Blachart, after meeting with the reference Ali al-Sistani in Najaf, that the reference expressed concern about the lack of seriousness of political forces to proceed with reforms. The situation in Iraq is the reason for the visit of Sistani, he said. According to Blaskart, Sistani supported a unified electoral law and expressed concern about the lack of seriousness of political forces in the process of reforms. Quoting the highest religious authority in Iraq, she added, The UN mission is following up on what has happened over the past weeks, which is the result of great anger and discontent in the street for not providing services for 16 years. People have high hopes of fulfilling the demands she said. She added, We emphasize the sovereignty of Iraq always and advice by monitoring events. We are seeking to move Iraq forward, but it is real time for the Iraqi authorities to implement what the demonstrators demand. This country cannot be the arena of conflict between countries. This comes after a few hours, in which the United States urged the Iraqi authorities to hold early elections and carry out electoral reforms calling for an end to violence against demonstrators that left hundreds of dead. The White House said in a statement that Washington wanted the Iraqi government to stop violence against protesters and fulfill President Barham Saleh's promise to adopt electoral reform and holderly elections. He expressed deep concern at the continuing attacks against demonstrators, civilian activists, the media and the Internet ban in Iraq. White House spokeswoman Stephanie Gresham said in a statement that Iraqis would not stand idly by as Iran depleted their country's resources and used armed militias and political allies to prevent them from expressing their views peacefully. The White House added that it joins the United Nations in calling on the Iraqi government to stop violence against demonstrators and the adoption of the electoral reform law in early elections. Protests have been shaking the Iraqi authorities accompanied by bloody violence that has resulted since the start of the protests on October 1, killing 319 people, most of them demonstrators, according to an official toll announced on Sunday morning, injuring more than 12,000. The Iraqi political blocs agreed on Saturday to put an end to the protests, at a time accused by protesters of loyalty to Iran, which they consider the architect of the political system in the country. After this agreement to return to normal life, security forces intensified the suppression of demonstrators, while the country is still without the internet and therefore without social networking sites for nearly a week. Next article of interest. A Badis coalition confirms the continuation of the interrogation of Abdul Mahdi, and comment on the government's vision of the crisis. 2019-11 November 10-15 Baghdad the coalition of victory to continue questioning Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to discuss the situation in the country and the mass movement and the demands of the demonstrators. This came during a meeting held by Nasser on Sunday evening, chaired by Haider al-Abadi. According to a statement issued by his office, Euphrates News, received a copy of it, the coalition reiterated its emphasis on proceeding with the interrogation of Abdul Mahdi in the House of Representatives and the importance of setting a date for the interrogation, criticizing the absence of the vision of the government lacking solutions, but that some of the steps of the government and speeches are the situation.
The meeting also discussed the political blocs and the confirmation of the victory initiative put forward by Dr. Haider al Abadi at the beginning of last month and expressed the coalition's fear of further collapse because of government policies. The coalition rejected the use of force that caused many casualties, the policy of suppressing freedoms, arrests and abductions, as well as knowing the perpetrators of the killings by snipers and using direct fire, the statement said. He noted that, the international community wants to help Iraq and what the current government is doing gives a negative view of the country where the previous government has taken great measures to return Iraq to the international community. Next article of interest. The Foreign Secretary receives a copy of the credentials of the British Ambassador to Baghdad. 2019 to 11th November 1507 Baghdad. Foreign Minister Muhammad Ali Al Hakim received a copy of the credentials of British Ambassador to Baghdad Stephen Hickey. The two sides discussed ways to strengthen relations between the two countries and political developments on the regional and international arenas, a ministry statement said. He stressed that Iraq is seeking to establish the best relations to serve the interests of the two countries, pointing out that Iraq is a fertile environment for investment because of its wealth, calling for the need for Britain's participation in the reconstruction of infrastructure and to benefit from its expertise in the development of the country. The minister expressed the readiness of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to provide everything that would succeed in his diplomatic mission and contribute to the strengthening of bilateral relations between the two countries. Next article of interest. Sari reveals the date of the arrival of UN constitutional experts to Iraq. 2019 to 11th November 1446 Baghdad. The head of the Committee for Constitutional Amendments MP Fela Al Sari on Monday, the date of the arrival of UN constitutional experts to Iraq. Al Sari said at a news conference, attended by the correspondent, Euphrates News, that there will be constitutional experts UN will arrive at the end of the week to Iraq. He added, the political blocs have a great determination to make constitutional amendments to meet the aspirations of the Iraqi people, noting, the intention of the commission to open the way for all segments of society to express their views on the constitutional amendment. We will open emails and extensive meetings with judges, unions and unions to draw up constitutional amendments, Sari said. He stressed that, the meetings of the committee remain open until the completion of all constitutional amendments, but added that, the United Nations participated in the meetings and will be active and interactive with the committee. Next article of interest. America supports and bar with $100 million. 11th November, 2019 Baghdad, United States Embassy. Announced the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad on Monday the launch of a program worth $100 million to support Anbar province in the reconstruction efforts to stabilize Iraq. During his visit to Anbar, U.S. Ambassador Matthew Toller stressed the United States' continued commitment to post-ISIS recovery in Anbar and other affected provinces. This program will restore basic services such as water, electricity, sewage system, health, housing and education which are the basis for achieving economic development, he said. He unveiled a new grant of $500,000 to Enbar University to restore its potential to provide opportunities for students to develop educational and vocational skills. Ambassador Toller called on Enbar's elected officials, tribal sheikhs and citizens to reintegrate all displaced Iraqis into their communities who wish to return to their areas of residence. Next article of interest. Major. General. Caliph. We have monitored 17,000 money transfers from four countries to support a conspiracy in Iraq. 10th November, 2019 Baghdad. The spokesman for the commander of the armed forces, Major General Abdul Karim Caliph, on Sunday, the monitoring of 17,000 money transfers from four countries to Baghdad to finance a scheme to support hatred and establish a bad relationship between the government and demonstrators and security forces, and other schemes. Major. General. Caliph said in a statement to Al-Arabi Al-Jadid newspaper, seen by Mawazin News, 
that security forces have received orders to prevent approaching all government installations in Baghdad and other cities of the country. He added, Iraqi forces are afraid of armed engineers in the demonstrations, and today issued an order to prevent approaching government installations, and currently the place allowed for the demonstration is only Tahrir Square. He pointed out that teenage demonstrators tried during the past days to storm the Central Bank of Iraq, but our forces responded with live bullets, because the bank is one of the government buildings that represent a red line, explaining that thieves are a group of 60 teenagers, and after we arrested some of them turned out they were unconscious and had drunk before they tried to break into the central bank, after which we released them, and of course they do not represent peaceful protesters. He revealed, the presence of parties that exploited the need of demonstrators demanding that Iraq be better, and improve the reality of living and improve political action and accountability of negligent, which of interests in Iraq, some internal and external, have been registered in knowledge and goals, and supports the sabotage in Iraq and violence against troops armed. Caliph said, these external parties were there plan not only to establish a bad relationship between the government and the demonstrators, but between security forces and protesters, via electronic armies of tens of thousands of fake pages on social media works to spread hatred. He revealed, monitoring the external remittances that arrived in Baghdad from four countries to finance the plan, which is 17,000 remittances in one month, stressing, but we have failed all of their plans. More articles of interest to come. Don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP. Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning, the link is in the description panel below. Be sure to tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.